foolproof bed adhesion. Let's get there. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Jeff. This is my corner. I'm here to talk to you, tell you a little story about what happened to me last week. I had the blob of doom on my Prusa MK3S. I had the blob of doom. This is ABS. That is a cooling fan and they had to be separated. So I took it apart. I turned lemons into lemonade, basically. I rebuilt the whole pr printer, wiped down all my rods. I um, cleaned my bearings. I reassembled the whole thing from top to bottom. But that being said, um, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about bed adhesion. Now, I think last week, Chuck Hellebuck on Chap Channel, you should go check that out. Uh, he did a thing where he sung the praises of glue sticks. And you know what? Glue sticks are great. Um, I use a different method and I didn't use it here. And this kind of cost me, as you can see. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what I did and we're gonna go through it step by step. So um, in my past videos, you might have seen this mason jar kicking around in corners and stuff like that. Well, what I do is, I don't know, it's empty right now. I bought it at the dollar store. I am out of stick'em, we'll call it. Let's call it stick'em, okay? And what this is basically is it's um, PVA or wood glue and water mixed. And I use, currently I'm using this brand. I'm not endorsing it, but it seems to work for me. I'm not, you know, whatever, like there's no, they're not giving me a bunch of money to say, hey, use this brand. Um, any wood glue should work. Um, it's basically, I believe it's what's called a PVA glue. Um, but yeah, any wood glue should work. Um, so what I do is I just mix this with good old H2O, throw that in there too. Um, I go about seven to one. I've seen people say it's like 10 to one. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to mix that. And I got a bunch of beds here. I got my um, my Aquila bed, which is the, um, the glass with the coating on it. So I'm not gonna use the coating side. I'll actually use the flat glass side. Um, I got a uh, Prusa bed here. Uh, so this is a PEI sheet on the flex plate. I'll put some on there and we'll print something off on there. And I do have a metal sheet plate that I've actually been printing a lot of PET G with on my Tronxy with the SKR board. So we'll do this as well. As you can see, it actually has, you see the residue on there. Sorry about the glare as I'm trying to blind you here. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And what the heck? Um, <clears throat> so these are the Tronxy beds here. Um, they're the sticker on the fiberglass. So I figured, why don't I just try and paint the fiberglass and see if I can print off of that. So we're gonna prep all this stuff up and we're gonna start printing and see what we get. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay. So before we begin, we're gonna just, um, we're gonna wash a couple of these that are kind of dirty off. So this already has stuff. So basically just use some dish soap. I'm using that stuff right there. And you're just gonna get them wet. I just grab a paper towel. Just kind of lay a tea towel down if you need to or whatever you call them in your thing. Lay a tea towel down. I just grab a little bit of soap and some water and just kind of get them a little soapy, right? So you just basically want to wash off anything that's on there. Um, I did have some glue on a couple of these boards. So, but yeah, you want to make sure your board is free of contaminants and that way when you um, dry it off and you clean it with the isopropanol, you're gonna know that you're, um, you don't have anything on there that's gonna get in the way, right? So my wife's probably gonna come down at any point in time and going, hey, you're doing dishes. Oh, we have a dishwasher for that and children. Children are the best dishwashers ever. Okay, 
But when you're teaching them to go through dishes and stuff like that, you're going to get a lot of broken dishes. So yeah, we uh, won't buy our dishes at Ikea <laughs> until the kids get older and learn how to properly wash dishes. So yeah, so you just basically you want to wash them off with the soap and the water. And I just leave them down to dry and that's it. And the soap, the sheets are right here, as you can see. All right, and just come back to them in a bit. So while my belt plates are drying upstairs, I have two down here that are actually dry. I have my wood glue and my water. So what I actually did earlier was I pre-mix this at a 10 to one ratio. Uh, I usually go about eight to one, but some people go as high as 10 to one. Some people go as low as six to one. So let's just keep it at 10 to one. Um, rather have it not sticky enough and then you guys can add more glue than too sticky and you end up damaging your build plates, okay? Um, now, when I say damage your build plates, what I mean is if you're using it on any of these ultra base surfaces, like the Vox Lab here has, um, if it's too strong, it might pull off the coating. That's why I'm actually gonna use it on the glass side, which is smooth, um, as well as it might damage your PEI sheets if you're using this on there. So always go a little bit weaker and then adjust it to how you want to do it. Um, also, when you apply this, you don't need to apply it for every print. This will last you for a little bit. Um, I use it on my Chiron constantly and maybe I apply it depending on where you're print. Like if I were to print the same object in the same place constantly, maybe once every 10 times or so, but if you move it around the bed plate, you should be okay, right? So, um, so basically all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this solution and we're just going to um, apply it to the uh, bed plate. I've seen people use those little makeup pads. I'm just going to use a paper towel. Now, um, when you're doing this, there, I don't think there's any real way to apply the glue stick. Just make sure that you stir your mix first. I usually use a popsicle stick or something. Give it a stir to make sure it's all um, mixed and concentrated. And I'll do that right now, actually. Let's... Um, Go ahead and just, um, whoops, give this a little bit of a, a stir just to make sure. Now, I tend to mix this a little bit earlier and let it sit because if you shake the jar or whatnot, you're gonna get a whole bunch of air bubbles in there and you're not gonna get like a smooth milky-like substance. Now, you want it to be, um, I would say a little bit thicker than the consistency of milk but not as thick as cream, maybe. Um, again, your mileage will vary, whatever you do, but just um, work with what works best for you. As I say, I just measured the side. I poured in 10 parts of water and one part of glue and mixed it around. So as I say, all I'm gonna do is just basically dampen the paper towel and just cover our sheet here. That's it, really. All right. Now, I like to kind of get those smooth lines going here. Um, every textured sheet will act a little bit differently. This is just glass here, but you can just basically paint it on in a sense. And then if you just have too much, you can always just wipe it down a little bit with a dry side of the cloth just so you have an even coating. All right, now we're just gonna let that dry. I'm actually really curious about this um, fiberglass sheet to see how this sucker's gonna work. So again, let's just get a little bit more on here. We're gonna wipe it around. Try and get it to, you know, your whole print surface, right? Because your ultimate goal here is to kind of use the whole print surface, right? So your, your purge lines will stick and everything else. Um, again, this might be a little bit of a messy operation. It actually goes on better to this because I believe it's a little bit more textured of a surface than the glass sheet. But there you go, you got that and you got that. We're just gonna let these dry now 
Then we're going to put them on our build plates or our build plates onto our printers. And I'm going to print a bunch of benches on all four of these. And then we're going to go check those out. Okay. So let's do that. I'm not going to film you guys waiting for paint to dry, so to speak. But yeah, you get the general concept. When this dries, it will dry clear and you'll be able to print on it. Um, you can put it on your print bed and warm up your print bed, which will make that dry quicker. So that's another option, but I'm just going to let these dry because I'm waiting for the other two to dry. I'm going to cover those and then I'm going to go print my benches. One bench on the glass bed. Two benches on the fiberglass. Three and four. So the benches are done and let's have a look at stuff. Okay. So the first one is the, um, the Prusa sheet, which, um, is a PEI coating and it's covered in our solution. All right. So we have beautiful brown benchy there and it comes off no problem and adheres to the bed. So you can actually see where I'm laying down the glue actually on the sheet. So just so you know, this is an old sheet. That's why it's got the, the pattern still on there. But yeah, so that works just fine. Now, here is the Entertech sheet that I have on my SKR Tronxy. Um, now I screwed up on this actually. I wanted to do it on the stainless steel side, but I, uh, printed on the PEI side, but it's same thing as that. And, uh, again, comes off just nice. No problem. So that's a fix. And that's a pretty nice benchy actually. So as far as an SKR board goes, it's looking pretty good. Um, next let's do the glass bed. So this is the, um, the glass bed here, there's the, uh, the regular Vox lab side right there with the, um, with their textured coating on there, almost like their ultra base. And that's the pure glass side. Again, as you can see with the patterns where I laid down the glue, um, yeah, it's, um, it's sticking, right? So let's, uh, snap that off. That works good. It gives me good bed adhesion and it's easy to remove when cooled. Now the one I'm interested in, and I don't know, actually, this is something I'm going to have to look into is say the, don't even know. <laughs> we got the, uh, the fiberglass one here, right? Remember I printed on the back side of the Tronxy, um, matte stickers that they give us. So it just gives you an option because you, they say you got to replace these stickers every once in a while. I think they're like 15 bucks, 20 bucks or something just for the piece of plastic sticker. And it's kind of like a textured side. So I figured, why not? Let's give this a whirl here, right? So, um, it seems to come out okay. It seemed to be pretty good. Let's just pop her off. She's stuck, no problem. Um, like, I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this a bit more, but, um, it just goes to show that, ah, uh, this little milky white magic solution here does the job for me. Um, again, your mileage might vary. You'll have to figure out, um, exactly what your ratio is. Is it seven to one, eight to one, nine to one, 10 to one sort of thing. Um, remember it's just messing around unless you write it down, then it's science, right? So, um, thank you, Adam Savage, <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess I do mine till it's, around milky consistency. Um, yeah, play around with it, try it out, see what works for you. Um, I'd be, the only advice I would give you is probably don't use it like on an ultra base coating because it will rip it up if it's too strong. And again, as always try stuff at your own risk, but yeah, this is what I use this uh, little solution of, uh, 
wood glue and water and it works great for me all right so if you like this video thanks so much uh, give me a thumbs up if you're cruising through the channel you found anything helpful hit subscribe and as always leave me a comment below okay all right thanks a lot everyone see ya